afternoon. Welcome to the Central Florida Zoo and our Zoo to You segment today. Um, today we have a special guest we're bringing out for you. We have Lurch, our black vulture. Um, so he is an animal that is typically behind the scenes, but he is one of our show birds. He does perform in our Flying High Bird Show. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of a flight training for him, for you guys today. Um, and then we're gonna bring out some enrichment for him to play with, and I'll be able to answer any questions that you guys might have about him or vultures in general. Um, so I'm gonna turn around and he's ready to go, I think. The lurch is about 21 years old, and he is what we call a, an imprint. So he was found as a very young bird. And um, he was believed to be orphaned by his parents. Now, um, one of the things I do like to point out to people that if you do find wildlife that you think might be orphaned, your best bet is to call a wildlife professional, a rehabber, or somebody like that. Um, they can properly assess the situation. These birds are really common here in Florida and across the United States. Well, most people will see them along our roadsides looking for roadkill. These guys are really important in our environment. They are nature's cleanup crew, so um, they have a really important job to do. So um, these guys are going to clean up all of that stuff near our roadsides. So I do like to tell people also, if you do see these guys on the side of the road, give them some extra space because they're just doing their job. I'm gonna try to get a nice scoop. Get you guys a nice up close shot of Lurch. And he's quite handsome. <laughs> now vultures are, um, are perfectly designed for exactly what they do. Um, if you look at Lurch nice up and close there, you can see, if you look at his head, he's completely bald. And that is for good reason. Um, he's gonna be sticking his head inside of all sorts of gross things. If, if he had feathers on top of his head, they would get really, really gross. So being bald helps him stay very clean. And then as he's eating things, um, if you go into his stomach, his stomach acid is super strong. So that's gonna kill any diseases. Go check out your toys. <laughs> We're gonna let Lurch explore a little bit. Um, so like I said, their stomach acid is super strong. Um, vultures can actually eat animals that have died from every single disease known to man, and they will not suffer any ill effects from those things because of that stomach acid. And then if you down, if, look down to his feet and legs, they might appear that they are white, um, but those legs are actually black. The skin on them is truly black. Um, and they're white because he does pee on his legs and that's really important for these guys because not only does it help to um, to clean off any of those parts of animals that he's been eating, um, but it also helps regulate his body temperature. So, um, so if it's really cold outside, he can pee on his legs and that's gonna help get his core body temperature up. We've got some different sizes of balls and things for Lurch to play with here, and he's going to investigate them and pull all of them out onto the floor for us. <laughs> Vultures are very curious animals by nature, so um, this is a really fun enrichment for him because he's going to check all of this stuff out. Let's see if we have any questions about Lurch. So Jack would like to know, do they live with their family? Vultures are very gregarious birds, so they will tend to live in pretty large groups. Um, a lot of times, if you do see them on the side of the road, you're not typically going to see just one at a time. So you will see a large group of them. Um, and the ones that are higher up in their hierarchy are going to be the first ones to feed. Um, and yeah, they do live in a family group. Question so far. 
All right, well, we had a comment earlier um, talking about buzzards uh, when we posted our picture of Lurch. Um, and that's a common sort of slang that we use here in the U.S. that uh, vultures are buzzards. Um, but in actuality, a buzzard is actually a type of a hawk. So, um, so a lot of times we'll use that as slang here in the U.S., but these guys are not truly buzzards. I'm gonna go investigate the rest of the conference room here. <laughs> so Ryan would like to know how far they can fly. How far can they fly? Well, they're gonna fly basically as far as they need to. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the uh, max distance would be, um, but they do soar. So a lot of times if you do see a bird really high up in the sky, um, circling around, those are typically going to, going to be vultures. Um, and you can always identify a vulture flying. If it's too far away, um, they usually have a V shape to their, um, to their wingspan. So you can usually identify that way. <laughs> what kind of predators would go after these guys? That is what kind of predators? Um, not many, actually. Uh, these guys are not really going to be down or predators would be able to get a hold of them. The only time that would happen would be if they, um, <laughs> if, um, if they were ill um, or sick or something like that um, and they weren't feeling quite up to snuff, then that would be mainly when a predator might be able to get a hold of them. And then Ashton would like to know if vultures can fly fast. They probably can fly fairly fast, um, but these guys are gonna be known more for soaring. They aren't, they aren't hunters, so they're gonna be, again, looking for things that are already dead, freshly dead preferably, um, but they're not really gonna be um, swooping down to grab anything like a hawk or other type of raptor might do. Um, what kind of toys does he have today? <laughs> <laughs> today he has a variety of balls. Uh, most of these balls here uh, you can find at your local pet store. So we do use a lot of um, things that would be considered dog toys for a lot of our animals at the zoo, actually. So um, we have a bunch, actually, these balls are, were found at a pet store. Um, <laughs> they were on clearance this Christmas. <laughs> So we use a lot of those kinds of things uh, for a lot of our animals. Some of Lurch's other favorite items are cereal boxes <laughs> and uh, paper towel tubes. And do they eat bugs? Do they eat bugs? They might if they had to, um, but generally they're gonna be looking for more needy items. Do people hunt them? Um, people might. I'm not really sure, actually. So, Margie would like to know why does he? Why is he here? Why is he here? So like I said at the beginning, he was believed to have been um, an orphaned youngster. So he was a, a fluff ball when he was found uh, by someone. And then he was taken to a vet for rehab. Um, but rehabilitating these guys can be pretty tough, um, especially trying to keep them from becoming imprinted. So he was raised by people, which means if we put him in with another vulture, he would not know how to act like a vulture. He would not do the proper behaviors in order to successfully introduce to that animal. So that is why he is here with us. Um, he doesn't have any injuries, but again, he just doesn't know how to be a vulture. Um, fortunately, he is a wonderful ambassador for his species in, the, in his natural habitat. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you enjoyed learning about Lurch today. Um, and don't forget to join us tomorrow.